This video is all about the X-Wing. It started out with a download from Raztec. It was basic X-Wing craft. I liked the, the core design. It had good bones. Uh, it was a simple craft, low part count, and I thought I could modify it into something that looked a lot more like the authentic X-Wing. And so I focused on the Force Awakens style of, of the X-Wing with the, the nose up a little bit. Uh, it turned out really nice and it was based on it was the success of this design uh, was due to a couple of breakthroughs while I was designing it one was the use of the offset tool I even downloaded a little mod uh, that removed the limits from the offset so I could move them, move parts around anywhere uh, the other breakthrough uh, was using the uh, radial air intakes for the nose it just gave it the right look and the rest was basically setting up the performance adding missiles and adding the VTOL engines there's actually eight forward engines on this because there's so many engines I wanted to use lightweight engines and those don't have a lot of power so there's uh, engines for atmosphere as well as space because I wanted to have this fly in space as well and the VTOL engine of course allows you to land on small airless moons it's got a lot of firepower. Uh, there's eight missiles on board, and they fire two at a time, so you uh, have twice the chance of missing anything. It doesn't have a super high speed because the lightweight engines are, are not super powerful, but it's got a lot of maneuverability, and it actually works really well in atmosphere and matches up nicely with the TIE Fighter and the Millennium Falcon. After you shoot the missiles, those little antennas stay on there and, and give it a great look, actually, without the missiles. So it's, uh, it's a good design. Landing it, you're going to crash a few times. Uh, basically, kill the forward engines, uh, float down, and uh, throttle up to maximum on your landing engines. I landed close by a lander and a droid so I could you know, get some nice pictures and then uh, have the pilot hop out of the X-Wing and pop into the, the speeder and drive away. That speeder was a design by Pointy Side Up. I had it in some of my other videos. That's a cool little design. Fun little scenario. The other scenario that I did, I went into space because obviously this thing works in space as well. So I put it into orbit. I put it into orbit and I docked it up with the medical frigate and uh, it, it worked pretty good. Like I said, it's got the, uh, the pirate tech on board, so you're able to fly it into space. It doesn't have any docking ports, so you'll need to use a uh, docking claw in order to, to dock it to any craft. Or you can add a docking port to it. I didn't want to because it would uh, take away from the design. But a nice little shot there in orbit, in space. So that's the second scenario. The third scenario is fighting. I set up uh, a little fleet of... Uh, craft. Uh, we've got the Naboo fighter, the A-wing, the B, or uh, the A-wing, the Y-wing, and the X-wing, of course. Uh, the A-wing is a design from Snickers Knee, and I'll be getting into all those other craft in upcoming videos. So stay tuned to my channel, and you'll see all of them uh, with a focus in each video. So this X-wing craft is taking off. It's going into uh, basically um, on patrol, so it's heading out over the water. It's just going to do a, a loop around and, and come back if it doesn't encounter anything. But of course, the Kerbal Empire, they're up to no good. They've got their own fleet together, and uh, you know there's something nefarious going on because they're removing their pilots from their fighters. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I remove all the pilots uh, from any craft that have the potential of getting blown up. So we've got uh, a TIE fighter that's going to be taking off and heading in the general direction of an X-Wing. And, well, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what's going to happen next. There's going to be a little air battle. It's very likely that uh, one of these craft is not going to survive. Uh, so the Kerbal Empire has removed their pilot for safety reasons. And so now uh, you see the, uh, the TIE Fighters heading out and the X-Wing just happens to be right there. So they meet up in combat 
and uh, of course, bad guy always shoots first and misses. Um, so I've got uh, another video on how to set up these air battles. And the TIE Fighter flies by, leaving it, leaving an opening for the X-Wing to come behind and take a couple of pot shots. So he's got quite a few missiles on board the X-Wing, able to take quite a few shots before having to reset the scenario. And, uh, oh, just missed there. That was a good one. Uh, staying behind the craft by uh, flying up, uh, pulling up, and then nosing back down and getting behind him. Uh, last two missiles, make this one count, and boom! Oh yeah, nice explosion there. Got him, uh, leaving a debris field behind, and now he turns and heads back to base. So that's the little scenario uh, that you can set up with the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. Um, the TIE Fighter and the Millennium Falcon <coughs> have been featured in previous videos. Uh, so you can go to my uh, YouTube channel or you can go to the uh, KSP forums and download those craft files. And I'll be putting th this craft file up as well. And you can download that and set up your own scenarios. Uh, you've got the Millennium Falcon, the TIE Fighter, and the X-Wing. Uh, you can do all of the, the fight scenarios from the new movie, The Force Awakens. So it's great. So we're just going to get the pilot to pop out here and uh, do the pimp walk featuring the X-Wing craft. So that's it. X-Wing fighter. Have a great day.